M Wave 2024, we may have some bigger and better things too. So uh, oh, I'll just leave yeah. that with a little teaser, yeah. but uh, needless to say, we're pretty excited. Good afternoon, those of you that weren't just in with us or that were. Uh, I'm Larry, I'm the National Training Manager with SVS, so my role is to geek out with uh, consumers and retailers. And what we're doing here today at M Wave is we're showcasing uh, a couple different things. We've got in this space a full 5.2.4. Dolby Atmos Home Theater, and really what that means, if you're not familiar with it, means we have uh, your conventional five surround sound speakers, and in this case, our front stage is our prime pinnacle towers that are out here on the outside. They're uh, a full range tower that can be used for music, movies, anything you'd like. Our center channel is our ultra center channel. We have two lines of speakers, prime and ultra, and you can absolutely mix and match. And this is a three-way design center channel. So what that allows you is just more flexibility and range. And I always say you can go from Mariah Carey to Darth Vader and everything in between if you've got a capable center channel. And you'll see the configuration with the mid-range with the tweeter on top. It's called a Diapolito if you want to get geeky. And it just means that it has a wider sound spectrum as well and larger sound stage. So that's the main three up front. Then behind you in the corners back there on stands, we have our prime bookshelves, which is where we start as a brand in a bookshelf speaker. We're using those for the surround. So you all are familiar with five speakers. And then on the sides, this is the point two. These are our PB16 Ultras. They're the largest subwoofer we make today. And it is a 16 inch driver with an eight inch voice coil wrapping the back of it, which allows this thing to be extremely precise, fast, play deep, play loud, and be responsive. 1500 watt amplifier, so a ton of juice too, and uh, extreme outputs. So you're gonna get a, an experience of that here in just a minute. So that's the 5.2. And then the point four are these guys up above you. This is called Prime Elevation. And they're an object-based surround speaker used for Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro surround sound. And what it does is it brings audio to a different height in your home, but to create an immersive bubble from front to back. And so you're gonna hear things in some of the demos I'm gonna play. You probably heard in that last demo we did where there's things happening all around you, behind you, here, and up above you, even though there's no speakers directly above you. And we're running all of that off of a Marantz Cinema 50 receiver. So we're not doing separate components or anything that's like off the charts expensive because our whole philosophy as a brand at SVS is to be more inclusive in this hobby bring more people into this space. You can absolutely go spend more money. Do it if you've got the capability to, but to get like that diminishing returns as you get higher and higher, you're gonna be spending four, five, and six times the price in many cases to get an experience like this. And yes, what I'm gonna play for you is a $10,000 system, but a lot of that is made up of our two largest subs. So I could take this same experience and deliver it in your home for probably four to 5,000 less with just our smaller subs. So I'm gonna be quiet here and I'm gonna fire this thing up and I gotta find my remotes and introduce you to a full 5.2.4 experience. And we're gonna use a track uh, from a DTS demo disc and a musician and artist named Nigel Stanford. And the best way I can describe what you're about to see would be to uh, tell you if you could see what sound looked like that's what this is. And it's a really fun demo with some cool bass, a lot of activity happening all around you. And then once that's done, I'll introduce you to our Prime Wireless Pro powered bookshelves and amplifier too. So, oh. Do you want to really hear what the subs Should we dial them up just a couple dB or are you too? Sure. Yeah, pull them up. What are they at? They're at 13. Let's go to 11. They're not feeling it. They want to feel it. Go to 11. Take that one to 11. So. So here is Cymatics. The film you are about to see has new characters. Hey guys, we are at M Wave 2023 here in the SVS Experience Room. It's been an incredible week so far, but we still have one day to go. Nick, it's always great hanging out with you and Larry. Let's have some fun, man. What do we got going on in this room? Man, so we put together a system that we thought would be over the top, but attainable. You know, I think a lot of uh, what M-Wave is, it's just 
totally crazy like experiences. And so we wanted to do something that would still blow you away, uh, but be a little bit more grounded in reality in terms of what people could actually put maybe in their living room yes. or a smaller basement. Uh, so we're doing a 5.2.4 system uh, with our prime pinnacle towers. These are the most uh, popular tower speakers that SVS makes. Uh, and we're mixing that with our ultra center channel. I mean, we are trying to fill what, like a 38 by 24 by 38 room. This is uh, a big, big room. So we brought our flagship center channel and uh, you can mix actually between the SVS speaker lines, our prime and ultras, because they're all timbre matched. Uh, so this gives us just a little bit of bigger sound stage, better sweet spot from the uh, ultra center. And then we're using uh, four of our prime elevations for Dolby Atmos height effects. And that I think has been one of the biggest surprises for people at the show is that these relatively compact uh, speakers are producing such vibrant overhead sound. And really, I think we've opened a lot of eyes in terms of what can be done with a versatile speaker like the Prime Elevation to bring that three-dimensional sound field into uh, to the spectrum. And they're only about 600 a pair, so it's it's an inexpensive way to bring that height effect experience. Uh, and then with our rear surrounds, we're using a pair of our Prime bookshelves here, uh, which are doing a great job of, again, bringing in that sort of secondary surround sound uh, to uh, the experience. Nick, one thing that's been really cool about this year is I've run into so many people that they've never heard anything but their own home theater. And so they're coming here, they're getting experience like this, and like, they may come in here and go, oh wow, I need some upgrades. Or they may go, man, I've never experienced Dolby Atmos before. And that's one of the big parts of M-Wave. We wanted to give people just these great home theater experiences, maybe that they've never had before. And so you guys are killing it in space. I love what you stand for. I love that you can put together a 5.1, 7.1 Dolby Atmos system mix and match like you said with different uh, lines because they are timbre match get great performance i haven't even told you this but we did a little speaker shootout last night and svs was in there boy right at the top so it. we had great time last night but man you've got even some other stuff in here in the show maybe even what are some of the conversations that you've had with some of the guests that have come through here at the SVS Experience Room. You know, we are big on the art of the demo. And, you know, I think sharing the experience with people outside your circle of friends and getting people to engage in this passion is such an important part of what you're trying to do with this event, uh, but also what SVS stands for. You know, we are really all about, you know, creating those attainable solutions that, you know, people can have in their living rooms but also getting people to understand how you can present it to other folks to really yeah. sell them the, uh, on the idea that, you know what, you can do better than a sound bar or an Alexa or whatever. You can get immersive sound that forces you to pay attention and not just background listening. So, you know, setting expectations before you put on a piece of content and listen for the dynamic range, the ability to go from very quiet to very loud. Listen to the natural voicing of the center channel on this one. It's not going to be about surround sound. It's going to be about how that front stage is really drawing you in. This one's all about the bass. Yeah. Listen to the transient response, how quick that subwoofer stops and starts on a dime, and not just about the boom boom and how loud and how low it can go. Uh, because I think some people have these uh, notions of what sound is, and when you articulate it in a way that sort of you know, tells them what they should be listening for, then you put the content on, and then afterwards you're like, now did you hear that? And then people sort of have an aha moment it's good for folks who even are really passionate about this mm -hmm. to know how to, again, explain that to other folks who then know that maybe their system is a little inferior, they're getting a little bit of that FOMO, yeah. and then they get excited, they get the bug, and then they start their journey. So that's really what we're trying to do here is, again, spark that passion, but educate folks on how they can help others spark their passion. Sure. And like I said, you guys on social, you do such a great job. You've got your happy hour every week that you educate people on, not just our stuff that we sell, but on home theater in general, like what can you do? How can you build something? And I love that you mentioned the journey because I've always encouraged my audience, enjoy the journey wherever you're at. If you start with a sound bar, great. You may have aspirations to build that up, build it up over time. You don't have to build this thing overnight and, and have all the information together. Just start where you're at, begin to learn, figure out where do I wanna go and then make steps towards that goal. Yeah, those, those virtual engagements and events that we do, you know, it's they're fun for us. And they started out of like we couldn't do events like these during COVID and whatnot. Yeah. So we brought it to the virtual world. And it's funny, like we've had retailers come up to our CEO, Gary, and they're like, 
you know, what, what's the value of these? You're not selling anything. You're not doing like an infomercial. You're not right. really, you know, pushing the brand as hard as you could. And we're like, that's not the point. You know, right. we want to talk about the content we're listening yeah. to. We want to just sort of geek out and answer technical questions from folks who, you know, maybe have never called customer service, but now they can have it sort of in a public forum sure. where it's benefiting others who are tuning in as well. So that's really what we're trying to do is, again, take that, you know, uh, crossroad between the content and the technical aspect and just sort of the fun of building a system and bringing that all together so folks can really kind of galvanize around that. Yeah. So you've also got some more stuff here. Yeah, in let the me room. bring in my man Larry here. Yeah. The Larry is our Prime Wireless Pro King. It's his favorite product we've ever yes. made. He's going to try not to drop too many expletives because he gets so <laughs> excited about it when he talks about it. But give us a little love for the subs and the Prime Wireless Pro there, Larry. Yeah, so uh, what we have in the room is Nick mentioned the 5.2.4 system. It's really anchored by the two PB16 Ultras. And nice. we typically don't demo these at these shows or most of the events we go to just because of their physical size. But taking on this room, we decided, let's bring out the big guys. And it's yeah. been a ton of fun. Uh, we've had some people in here really wanting to go pretty extreme. So we threw on Edge of Tomorrow and just kept rewinding it and going louder and rewinding it and going louder, rewinding it and going louder. And it was just a lot of fun to just see everybody's reactions in here, too. And, uh, this is really an opportunity for a lot of the people here to, as Nick was saying, hear things they'd never heard. And as you said, maybe experience Atmos for the yeah. first time. And We had some guys in here that were kind of anti, like, oh, I don't think Atmos has been great. I don't mm -hmm. think it's really done anything. And then showing off some of our demos, and they're like, oh, okay, maybe I'm wrong. That's right. So that's been kind of interesting to see. And then opening up some eyes to our newest product, our Prime Wireless Pro powered bookshelf. The response to this has been pretty wild. You know, it's a 200 watt stereo powered bookshelf that a lot of people in this environment may not think of in regards to being a really capable system. But if you've got a room where you want something other than a sound bar, or you just like listening to music, or if you've got family members that want audio and don't want to deal with uh, buying gear and all this other stuff, you know, it's a plug and play solution that yep. does high res. And there's not really a lot of things out there on the market like it. And for 900 bucks, it's, it's pretty hard to beat. And we were taking on this entire room and just I think the response to that sometimes was even more impressive than to the sure. theater because they're like, no way. And we had people walk in when just the small bookshelves over here were playing and they're like, man, those towers sound great. Yeah. And it turns out it's the bookshelves. And the big system, we're just powering off a Marantz AV receiver. Again, that's part of the story we're trying to tell here sure. is, yeah, you put separate power amps on our speakers, they're only going to sound that much better. But I think people are blown away what we're doing with a, a simple yeah. AV receiver from Marantz. And we have to show some love to our folks at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Yeah, they've been awesome this week. They've been here helping us out the entire time too, helped us uh, set this room up. They're going to help us take it down later too. But uh, they're a great partner for us in uh, Nebraska, Kansas City, and the Dallas market too, and just nationally as well. They hooked us up with a sweet display and projector yeah, as well. Yeah, Epson 800 series laser short throw. Yeah, the LS800. Which has been a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of interesting, you know, we try to get around it. We were doing a presentation yesterday and pointing at the screen and it shuts off as a safety feature. Right. Yep. Which I'm very thankful for. Brad so, yeah, off, yeah Brad, get real close, close and it'll uh, turn off on so you. It's beeping at you so don't it's laser like, out you your get, eyeballs. Yeah, you can get free LASIK. It's just, it's not going to be very good. And so we've, we've had a lot of fun playing different content, you know, whether it's stuff we conventionally play like the, the Greatest Showman and some of the stuff from Baby Driver. And then we've gone into some deep cuts that we typically don't play at other events awesome. because uh, we have to move people through so quickly. Sure. But everybody wanting to hang out with us. We had some people that were in here with us for like over an hour yes. yesterday. And so we went into some deep stuff from like Kong versus or Godzilla versus Kong and the Batman playing the Batmobile scene. and. Uh, some others, like we've got Venom queued up, ready to go this morning, and we don't normally play some of those things. Yeah. And uh, it's been fun to kind of explore that. And then some new content too, which we'll yep. goof off with later. And I'll also give some props to the Kansas City community. Like these folks are into yeah. home theater yeah. on a level that, you know, yeah. I haven't seen before at all the two channel shows oh, yeah. that we go to. So, you know, they got a vibrant community here in, in KC and it's, uh, it's cool to be a part it's of it. It's a great town too, man. We've had a great, sorry, we've had a ton of fun here with you all this week too. We went to a baseball game last night, had some great meals, found some cool restaurants, and uh, everybody's been pretty awesome. Too. My highest endorsement for the city, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've had a blast. We've been here for two days. This is day three. You can still come and join us. We've got stuff going on all day today till 5 p.m. You guys probably have to head out a little bit early. I think you got some weather coming in, so you got to bail. But, man, it has been an honor to hang out with you guys again, to have you at M-Wave 2023. Love to have you back at 2024. We've got bigger things, better things. We've got 13 rooms here just like this that you can experience. Dolby Amo setups, you've got subwoofers, you've got all different types of things, seminars. It's been a blast, it's been incredible. 
but this is just getting started. So we hope you guys will come and experience the difference here at M Wave 2024. Any other thoughts, guys? No, but I can say uh, M Wave 2024, we may have some bigger and better things too. So uh, oh, I'll just leave yeah. that with a little teaser, yeah. but uh, needless to say, we're pretty excited. And actually, even before I go, I'm still rocking out the Soundbase Pro, man. I love the fact, like you said, you've got stuff that's super affordable for people. I didn't even hook up an external amplifier to it for probably, well, since you sent it to me. So however long that was, that's probably at least six months ago. And so I'm trying now, all right, does it make a difference? Since I haven't had a chance to really play with it, but that thing has been rocking my tower speakers for over six months. And it's just awesome to be able to connect my, my phone to it, to be able to stream, whether I've got guests over, just some really, really cool, innovative stuff that you guys are doing at SVS. We yeah. certainly appreciate that. Well, you gave it one of the best endorsements I've heard, which is actually got your family into wanting to tweak and play with the system. And, and for me, there's no greater value than getting others yeah. to be excited and, and want to use these products and, and hear sound better. Yeah, even while I'm here, my wife says, hey, me and Becca are sitting here watching this show, and she sends me a screenshot, and I'm like, my girl's got it figured out, Love man. it. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. So, well, guys, thank you so much. We've got more content coming to you from M-Wave 2023. Love you guys. Hope you have an incredible week. We'll catch you in the next video.